Hello developers, in this video I am going to show you how to fix the deceptive behavior policy error in Google Play console. When I was trying to update my app in production, the update got rejected by Play console with the message app update rejected. Your recent app update has been rejected for not adhering to the Google Play developer program policies. We have sent more information to the account owner's email address. Address any issues and make sure your app meets all policy requirements before resubmitting. So to check the actual reason for app rejection, you can go to your email account or go to policy status page in Play Console. This is the email I have received with the subject action required. Your app is not compliant with Google Play policies. App status rejected. Issue found violation of deceptive behavior policy. Where was the issue found also they have mentioned in the email and the details about that policy. Okay, so either you can get the details about the policy violation error from your email or in play console, click on this go to policy status option. Here also you can find the name of the policy issue, violation of deceptive behavior policy. Click here. These are the issue details. Where this issue was found, location, full description, evidence, they have given the description content where it is violating the policy. In my case, it is because of the content in the full description, but for you, it could be of any store listing data that you have updated for your app. For example, app name, short description, full description, app screenshots or icons in the app. So, you need to check carefully where that policy issue was found by Google. And to understand about the deceptive behavior policy, go to help center page. Here they have clearly mentioned about that policy with examples. Read this page completely. I will give this link in the description box. So, this deceptive behavior policy violation can be triggered because of many reasons. One is misleading claims. Where the developer is giving false or misleading information or claims through icons or screenshots. Like 100% cancer prevention app which is a misleading medical claim. Or breath analyzer where that functionality itself is not possible to implement in phones. So avoid using these types of false statements in your app's description, title, icon and screenshots. And the second one is deceptive device settings changes. We don't allow apps that make changes to the user's device settings or features outside of the app without the user's knowledge and consent. Also we do not allow apps that mislead users into removing or disabling third party apps or modifying device settings or features. So this is what is exactly causing my app to violate the policy. Here I have mentioned how user can change the device settings to get the notification alert. Okay, and there are other possibilities also which are causing this policy violation. Enabling dishonest behavior, manipulated media, behavior transparency, etc. So read all these laws carefully to understand which one is triggered your deceptive behavior policy violation error. So I understood where I did a mistake to cause this violation error. Let me fix this. Go to store listing page. In this new play console UI, you can find the store listings option under grow users store presence. Click on this default store listing. Here I have to update my full description content. Actually this note I have added long back but now I received this policy error. Maybe because of their recent policy requirement changes. I don't know they keep updating their policy requirements. Ok I deleted that note. Resubmitting the app. Save. Go to overview. Send two changes for review. One was that last app update which was rejected and another one is full description store listing change. Send both the changes for review. Ok, my changes are in review. 
after the review my app got published successfully this time which means the deceptive behavior policy violation was addressed in my app so if you receive any policy violation error first understand what is that policy next which part of your app is causing that policy violation then address that policy violation in your app data or store listing data finally resubmit the app after addressing the issue hope my explanation was clear enough to fix this policy violation issue at your end if yes comment like the video and subscribe to iraka tech solutions thank you